ibuprofen mefenamic acid would be of the same kind because uh, uh, not only my hair are getting, getting gray but the gray matter is getting white <laughs> and therefore i remember only few drugs because i won't know the dose of mefenamic acid <laughs> okay. that's why i don't try it uh, but i suppose it is as good or bad uh, and therefore i don't mind if somebody says i use mefenamic acid i'm sure it's as good uh, but then i'm happy with paracetamol so i don't even worry about it the uh, lucon wash taro wash not only brings down the temperature i feel it enhances the immunity also well i learned something much more today <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> This is what I, I routinely do in such situations. Excellent. I think from tomorrow I'll practice. I think quite <laughs> no, I, I think what you are saying is probably rational, but the point is that we need to use such measures. And, and it very, brightens the baby also. Yes, because it's very pleasant. You put somebody in that cold water, first thing there is a vasoconstriction and fever doesn't come down. Now if ice doesn't come down, bring down the fever, they will go for dry ice. <laughs> That's too much. So. I think uh, we need to study the reason even in uh, acute uh, distress people are allowed to take bath yes i think when we are tired we take probably a, a lukewarm yes. water bath and we feel happy i i suppose the muscles which are tired certainly enhance the circulation remove the toxins and you feel better so there must be a reason to make the baby more comfortable but also as you say even enhance immunity yes. So regarding the ibuprofen, sir, I have seen a child about one year plus. I, I resisted myself from giving ibuprofen, and again I gave one dose. The child reported with bleeding, gastric bleeding. Well, I'm sure that these must be uh, occasional things happening, and uh, uh, while paracetamol is far safer, I'm sure the other NSAIDs may have small problems, uh, and. I think the nephrologists would flare, certainly not like any NSAIDs to be used in general. Though fortunately, we don't need to use long-term NSAIDs. But I think paracetamol is the safest. I think in one of the sessions, uh, I remember Dr. Srinivasan said the high temperature over 103, and with leukocytosis, straight away you can go for an antibiotic. 